Now that we have uh, a consistent local on Sundays with Make That Cheddar, if we see some more talent making their way out to Hollywood too. I like saying Cheddar. It's always fun. It's great. It's I fun. mean, it, but Cheddar is also an amazing. I have not been to Cheddar's yet. Really? No. But how? I mean, it's 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 definitely been definitely heard. I've started seeing that on Twitter more often. I mean, I, I say that I haven't either, but I'm I'm definitely going next week. And I know there's been a lot of players, you know, a lot of uh, hat refugees, for lack of a better term, who have sort of found a second home in that tournament. Well, yeah, no, for I mean, beforehand, uh, it used to be content events used to go ahead and do the Sundays for that, and used to commentate for them. I loved content events, but they were also a really long driver for me out in Temecula. So uh, I haven't heard anything from them yet. It's like they just disappeared off the face of the earth without a trace. Indeed. So we do have Dom walking to the setup. Uh, talked about him a moment ago. I believe the top seed in all of this wave. Uh, facing off against SM, who I believe is an Ike player. Don't quote me on that. He was an Ike player in Smash 4. I, Yeah, I think he was. A, he's still a Smash play, uh, an Ike player still right now. So I'll be excited to go ahead and see that. Ike versus Richter. We'll be excited to go ahead and see that kind of matchup. It's going to be, you know, dependent on if SM can go ahead and get in versus that amazing strategy of press B. I mean, we see that tag from Dom. You know, a lot of people like to say, oh, that's all Richter does. And I know <laughs> Dom uses it, the phrase, a bit tongue-in-cheek, but there's so many different creative ways to mix all three projectile options as well as some of the angled aerials and even some setups that don't involve some of the usual, you know, Belmont moves. He uses down tilt one in a couple setups, and I'll, I know a lot of people don't get hit with that and say, oh, he's going for down tilt two. All of a sudden, he don't. He, there's a returning cross, you know, you're going to be hit up into some juggle that you've never even thought was possible. Right, exactly. Only T3 Dom is the person that's been pioneering this character, pretty much. He carries this character on his controller, which I always love to go ahead and see with that. It's always incredible. I always, I was surprised when he started winning, like, MSM. You think Richter, and everybody thinks, or Belmont, any Belmont. You go ahead and you look at it and you think, low tier. We all ripped off the Belmonts as low tier, and I'm really surprised to go ahead and see him continuously winning at events. But yeah. it's always fun to see, you know? That's the excitement about it. And you could say, in, no, in my opinion with Smash Ultimate, no character is truly low tier. No character is so irredeemable garbage that they can't be used or have some sort of results. And that's what's beautiful about Smash Brothers to me. And honestly, I don't think Richter's anywhere close to low tier himself. Dom has proven over and over again that anyone can catch these hands from the top to the bottom of the tier list and you know dom in particular you know, having just graduated from uc irvine and i know he's doing a lot of stuff in his own life with uh computer science jobs and engineering stuff for himself but the fact that he does now have a bit more free time to dedicate to mastering this character has to be a bad sign for opponents i mean it, if the grind never stops for him in real life the grind never stops from smash brothers 2 it seems like and then continuing to go ahead and pressure with that already seeing how he's already zoning him out on the side right here. It's going to be really hard for SM to get in. SM still trying to find his way in there. But it seems like T3 Dom just barely staying outside of his reach. SM going to find his first hit. Yeah, Richter often thought of as a sort of sortie counter just because most sorties thrive on that reach advantage, which Ike no longer has here. Yeah, because the reach advantage belongs to Richter. That was a really interesting comp potential. You knew he wanted to get something after that, just not quite able to capitalize on it yet. Water. Good shield timing finds his escape beautifully. Mm -hmm. Just trying to get him off the stage. Tell him to take this and that and some more of those. And he's off the stage. It's going to be interesting to go ahead and see how SM goes ahead and tries to counter this. He does have a chance to go ahead and pour him. He can get earlier kills than, than Dom. Trying to parry the holy water. Hard decision to be able to do so. Dom just barely missing by centimeters. Yeah, that upward angle back air was in the right area, but just enough invulnerability to get around it. It's literally putting right in front of his face, and SM has no fear, but that's not that. Just because he doesn't have any fear doesn't mean he's not going to lose a stock either way. SM going to have to go ahead and try to find his way around this, but he's now able to Dom just poking through his defenses. Yeah, it's not like Dom has unblemished himself here. Dom is already sitting on 96%, and, you know, that's up the percent if you're close to the ledge, but SM just has to find the kill with something. It doesn't feel like Dom doesn't want to go ahead and let him have that final hit anytime soon. He's finding out these combos, finding ways to go ahead and put in. He gets the cross. <laughs> he wanted to go for something extra flashy there, but he didn't quite get it. Gets the dash attack. It seems like Dom just dropped that shield a little too early, and SM going to find himself a stock. Finally on the board with that timing mix up there. Jumps to that ledge for a bit of refuge. Oh, he gets the down air into neutral air. 
good conversion for him to start with. Catch the cross. He's trying to find his way in there. That poke he keeps pressuring that shield so well. That short hop cross trying to bait him into jumping, but SM not taking the bait. SM going ahead and trying to find some of his percentage right here. He's got 70% and Dom off stage. Could he capitalize? Just barely making it back. T3 Tom working out. The percents are even. Oh! oh. I love that. Beautiful weight on the spot, Judge, and covered so much space with that down smash. Ooh, SM firing right back! This is 0 0, one stock apiece. I mean, one good read deserves another, right? Absolutely. Any book deserves a sequel. Debatable. Wait, right, but finding out inside there, T3 Dom has actually the percent deficit at the moment. SM still has to go ahead and find his way in. But once he finds his way in, he's going to hit hard. He's off the stage. Oh, interesting conversion. Not able to get the full combo that Dom wanted, though. He's running across. This time, that forward cross. Up, he's back over using the platform to go ahead and find it. Finds the shield, but not able to avoid all the projectiles. He's on the stage. T3 Dom trying to poke him. Find something with that. But SM, no fear. Once yeah. again. 110% not going to have much more opportunities to do that same escape with limited invulnerability at ledge. Mm -hmm. He's trying to find his way. And he finds a grab. He's got the forward air. Side there. Dash attack. Just barely hopping over it. Good air dodge back to stage, but he finds it with that depth, that back air and wrangled at the right angle just to go ahead and catch him at the ledge there. T3 Dom going to go ahead and take that first game. Yeah, Dom with the knowledge there. Just a moment ago, SM escaped at 110 that exact same sequence just because he had that extra invulnerability at ledge. Sitting at 140, you're going to be able to be hit just a little bit earlier, and Dom takes advantage of that. Absolutely with it. SM also was taking really great advantage getting his aerials. Once he got in there, he got in. Every single time he went ahead and tried to put his conversions at the best as possible. It's a really great eye play like we saw uh, earlier today even too. So it'll be interesting to go ahead and see to make sure that now that T3 Dom is up a game. He's only got one more game to go ahead and make a chance to at least make it 1-1. Put himself on the board. Yeah, best of three. So Obviously, now or never for SM, but already knowing you can take today's number one seed of the entire pool down to the wire like that, that has to be a good sign. Yeah, no, he's got a good grab off the side there. Oh, he tried for a really hard read. T3 Dom not going to go ahead and uh, act too quickly out of it, though. He's able to go ahead and watch and analyze the opponent. If he's going to get a read like that, he's got to get inside SM's head. I'm mean, sorry, T3 Dom's head a lot harder. Barely missing on that capitalization. He's got to start beating himself up for it. But he can't afford to do so. Gets a jump. Good save at T3 Dom. No jump now. Not able to make it back in the stage. T3 Dom going to take that first stock. SM starting to go ahead and show that he really wants to push hard for it. It's going to be a matter of whether that pushing hard able to go ahead and net himself a kill or if it's going to go ahead and be his downfall. Yeah, SM didn't land at any point there. Now the throw into the cross. Oh, that's oh, the string! That would have been so incredible if he went ahead and found that final hit afterwards. But you know he was thinking about it. T3 Dom already starting to go ahead and show signs of this incredible combo game. Dom more than capable of doing some cheeky stuff with that inside hit of back air, but just inches away there. SM now has to, has to find a kill soon. I'm not saying like right this second, but he needs to find it soon. He oh, tried to go for it, and he outranges him. Charged F smash. T3 Dom looking like he's looking really good to go ahead and take this set. Now, I'm not saying it's time to panic because that's where things start to get troublesome for Ike players, but, you know, now you need to find at least something. That's the hard part. He's getting hit by the axe. He's just starting to get hit by a lot of things. SM does find a stock, though, so it could be the change of momentum for him that he needed. But it remains to be seen. Good spot dodge from the start there. Nice it's a grab. There. He has him off the stage. He has him on the side. It's a question of whether or not he can keep him in that advantage state for very long. An extension and just forces him off of the platform, allowing him to go for the uppercut as soon as he lands. He's starting to avoid a lot of these things. SM starting to really clean it up. He's starting to get some movement. Breathing some life into his own play there. This could be interesting. It's, it's very possible he could go ahead and look like he's taking the stock. Actually punishes the end lag on that jump cross. 
Excuse me, it was way too soon to go ahead and call something like that. Oh my gosh, the cross into the axe! He's keeping it on the side. He's on the ledge again. This is a very scary situation, similar to the last set game. Dom playing at a distance here. He's got him on the side of the stage here. This is very tense. He wants to go ahead and find this kill. He's looking for it, but he's not finding it. SM really looking forward to it. It gets on the other side of him, but he's not going to. He gets hit by the forward smash, and but he's still living. He's on the platform. He doesn't want to be on the, he gets the cross. He tried it for the backer, just barely missing. He has the, he has a stage for himself, but he is in a really, really rough situation right now. He gets that kill, actually. Last stock on 3-3 Dom, SM with some rage. He would need a miracle to make something happen. I don't think SM's gonna uh, make it much farther than that. It could be that T3 Dom has this, and the ax is barely gonna go ahead and clip him on the ledge. T3 Dom advancing to the next game. SM certainly did.